What is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another blob saving video. I'm gonna show you guys how to use blob saver on your computer. I'm using a non-jailbroken iPhone to do this, and I'm also gonna show you guys how to save the blobs for a beta version, which I've never done on this channel. So hopefully you guys find this video useful. So first off, you need blob saver on your computer. You can use this to save blobs for a jailbroken and a non-jailbroken iPhone. Um, and it's pretty sweet. So the first thing you guys need to do is download blob saver. I'll leave the link for this in the description. Um, just go ahead and download whatever version you need. If you're on a windows or a Mac, whatever version you need it, all the information's right here. There's a FAQ and all of that. So just make sure you have it downloaded onto your computer. Now I have my 12 pro max, um, connected into my computer right now. Uh, so your device must be connected to your computer. So make sure you bust out your lightning cable and plug it in. Um, but you just open up blob saver and it's really simple. Just do read from device for ECID. You don't even have to worry about it. You specify your device if needed. Um, you can manually specify and then you can see you need an AP nonce. You can read it right from your device. Now this is a little interesting and I think it's going to cut out my screen recording on this side so basically it's going to put me into i think it's recovery mode but let's do read from device and as you can see you have the option to choose if you're jailbroken or non-jailbroken so make sure you choose the correct option and remember that you're specifying if you're in the jailbroken state or not so if you're running like uncover for 14.3 and below uh, and you're not in the jailbroken state you need to specify that you're not in the jailbroken state and my iPhone is going into uh, recovery mode. It's it's getting the nonce automatically. My iPhone is rebooting right now. As you can see, successfully got a P nonce exiting recovery mode. So we'll just wait for my iPhone to boot back up. And like I said, in this video, I'm gonna save blobs for a beta version um, and show you guys how you can specify what beta version you want to target which is pretty damn cool uh, to be able to do that. So um, there we go, it finished up. And it says, please unlock your device. So I like to wait for it to fully boot. And then I do unlock my iPhone and go into it, into the home screen. So I have done that. And um, yeah, so I mean, from here we can just click go and it's gonna save blobs. You can specify where you want them to actually save. And I'm not gonna do that right this second, but I am going to specify a beta version um, to be saved instead of doing all signed versions, which I have done. Actually, let me open up blobs 12 pro max. So I have blobs for 15.1, as you guys can see there, whoops, 15.0.2. And it shows you down here at the bottom, what version it is. I'll go back into 15.1. So there you go. 15.1 and it shows you the build. So you can go off of the build and you can see what versions these blobs are for if you didn't know what that meant this is actually 15.1 beta 2 i believe i'm actually gonna do um this so i know what it is and where it is so that's for beta 2 so i'm just gonna leave that there like that now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back into chrome and i'm gonna go to ipsw.dev okay so from this site you can download developer betas um and all you gotta do is click on iphone or ipad whatever you're doing make sure you choose the correct iphone that you have and then you can download any of these beta versions but the trick here is let's say i want to save blobs for the first beta if i right click on download and then i copy link address i can use that in blob saver to specify what blobs I want. So that is 15.1 and the build is 19B5042H. That's all you got to do. Click go. And it's saving blobs for iOS 15.1 beta number one. And there we go. Successfully saved blobs in. So let's go into my blobs folder. 12 Pro Max. Oh, maybe I didn't specify that correctly. Let's, yeah, it's in the, it's in the wrong spot. Let's specify where I want it to go. Desktop. Let's go into blobs, 12 Pro Max, open. That's where I want it to go. Click go, we can save it again, not a problem. Success, let's open up blobs. There you go, there is the new blobs. 
And as you can see, it's 15.1, but it is a different build. The build is 19B5042H, which is different than Beta 2. The build on this is 19B502 uh, or 5052F. So different builds, different beta versions, blobs saved, ready to rock. If I ever need them on my computer, just make sure that if you're specifying the IPSW from a website that you choose the correct device. I made this mistake for my iPhone 10, like a dum dum. Um, let's see, does it give me the option for GSM or not? It doesn't seem like it does here, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but I had saved, I specified my iPhone 10 to be the global version on accident. And I actually have the GSM version. So what I did is on TSS saver, the website, I went to iPhone 10 and I selected uh, iPhone 10 global, which is not the correct iPhone. I don't have the global version. I have GSM. And because of that, those blobs are unusable. So if you guys have older iPhones, just make sure that you know exactly which, which version of iPhone that you have. And if you need to, you could do a Google search to figure out exactly which one you have. So just watch out for that. And uh, that's how you can use Blob Saver. If you don't want to specify, you can save for all versions just by clicking go. And it's going to save for all versions just like this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. All the links you'll need are down in the description if you guys want to use Blob Saver. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.